Ladies and gentlemen, yep. whether you are happy. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I'm born ready. <laughs> <laughs> you are born ready. You're taking this fight on five days' notice, you're definitely yeah. born ready. Robert Hellenius, I'm a big fan of you. Thank I'm you. I'm a big, big fan Thank of you. what you've done so far Thank in your you. career. There'll be some people watching that maybe don't know too much about your journey. Um, you started boxing mm. at what, five? Yeah, I was pretty young. I, th I think I was 11 years old, maybe, mm. uh, first fight. I lost my first fight. Uh, Bad decision from the referee. <laughs> That's boxing. <laughs> first fight, first experience. I started to dislike boxing. Mm. Uh, two years later, I had the same opponent and I won it. And I was like, yeah, I was hooked on the feeling mm. and, and the adrenaline burst. What got you into the sport? Was it your dad? Or yeah, my dad was a trainer back yeah. in the day. Yeah. And he, he was my, almost my whole amateur career. I think 11, 12 years he was mm. my trainer. So we went for, I think, juniors, European uh, bronze medalist two times, and the silver uh, on the on the adults. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, not many Finnish heavyweights. Not many Finnish fighters. No. When you think about no. it, who, who was the one you were looking up to, though? Someone mm. in America, someone in Europe. Who, who did you look up to? I, back then, I, Lennox Lewis, yeah. uh, of course, Muhammad Ali. Mm. Uh, but Lennox Lewis, I think, because he was also taller than the other guys, and I was the tallest uh, everywhere I went. So uh, I looked up to him and, and followed him and his style of boxing. I liked it a lot. When do you think you came into the attention of the world? Um, fight? Was there a particular fight where I, everyone started noticing who you were? When I was pro professional, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was. I started as 2008. I started professional career. I think it was 2000, maybe 2010. Mm. Uh, Lemma Brewster, Samuel mm. Peter, I knocked them out. Sergey Ljankovic, I knocked him out. Uh, I had a really good fights back then, but. Even when I fought Chisora, I had the broken tendons in, in my mm. right shoulder. Uh, my next fight should have been Klitschko fight back in 2011. Yeah, mm. that's a long time ago. Right? Long time ago right? <laughs> I remember yeah. there was a picture of you. The beard wasn't the, really there. No, because we could be, we, we were... No one was doing no, beard back then. No, <laughs> yeah. but we, I would have liked to have a beard, but the German promoter said, no, it looks so... <sighs> Nasty. They they wanted us not to have beers. So mm. I would otherwise I would have. Had. I, rem I remember there was a picture of, with five heavyweights and you yeah. were in the middle and it was like the future of the heavyweight division, and I think you just won the European title against Chisora and everyone mm. was saying you were the future of the heavyweight division. Yeah. When you think of that and you think of your career now, are you slightly disappointed that you never fought for a world title? Are you upset with how mm. it went or just content with having the good career you had? <sighs> I think in some point I, I was disappointed, of course, but I wasn't. I think everything has a meaning, mm -hmm. as the, has this match as well, so or this fight has a meaning as well. I, I think uh, I wasn't probably ready in my head to to take those fights, even though my physical maybe was, but but I, I think with 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 that match. Uh, fame and stuff comes so much responsibility yeah. that I, I, I don't think I was ready to, to handle that. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it, 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 I had put so many years, so much work into it that uh, I would have loved to, to fight against the world champion title mm -hmm. or, or, or win it even. But uh, I've had a nice journey so far. It's been a good career so yeah. far, right? And it continues. It yeah. continues. When you had suffered a defeat, I've always noticed, looking at your record, that you go on these big wins. Yeah. Like, and a, a defeat doesn't affect you like it seems to affect other fighters. No. Whether it be the Dupas one, and then you go mm. on the six or seven fight win streak, yeah. or the Dillian White one, then you yeah. go on another yeah. win streak. Yeah. Do you expect to go on another win streak now after the Wilder yeah. defeat? That's, that's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the bottom to just <laughs> yeah. skyrocket up. Why is that? Where does that come from? Because most people, they suffer a defeat and they kind of vanish, they disappear. It yeah. affects them. It doesn't seem to affect you the same way. Yeah, I think I, I had so long amateur career and I, I lost probably like 60, 70 amateur fights of, mm. of 250 fights. So I, I have that, it's just fight, yeah. let's move on, you know. Mm. And of course, as a professional, it's a different game altogether. But I think, 
I think the strong mentality from my whole career and I have because I had really much fears back in the day in when amateur careers fighting was was a big fear point for me so every every time I, I step in the ring I, I felt fear mm -hmm. so I had to battle my own demons my mm -hmm. whole way and uh, I think that that the constant working and and working and wanting to be better and never seeing myself as as uh, over anybody else yeah. just try to learn from everybody try to uh, everywhere I, we go in training camps or whatever i try to learn something new just mm. to to keep the interest i think you should never stop learning in life yeah i learned something new from you as well watching your kaunaki performances i thought those were incredible because i remember you, in the you. first kaunaki fight kaunaki went in as a favorite yeah you're fighting you're the away fighter right yeah, fighting yeah. on someone else's promotional show and i thought the performance was so good and i think it surprised people mm. that's why they asked to do it again Okay, uh, well, let's see if he can do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he did it again even better. <laughs> yeah. Is that the best version of you that you've seen? Yeah, yeah, yeah I felt that at my best. And of course, the opponent was perfect for my yeah. style as well. So I didn't understand what they were thinking when they <laughs> yeah. were there. I was like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, it, it, we back then we had really, really did a, a hard job uh, in the training just to, to, to keep me fit and we did a lot of conditioning because we knew he was a volume puncher and, and not a heavy hitter so so uh, that we, we, we would need to have a conditioning to go 12 rounds full speed all the time so mm -hmm. that was our plan we didn't think about knocking him out but of course that was preferable uh, we just was prepared to do 12 rounds of hard work. Mm. Yeah. Didn't even last 12 rounds yeah. at all. And I think Kaunaki is a different fighter now because of your, uh, your wins over him. What do you remember uh, about the Wilder fight? They always say one mistake is mm. all it takes in the heavyweight division. It was. I mean, you've spoken off camera and yeah. you said yeah. it was a mistake. It was. Yeah. It was a mistake because we, we made uh, one year we had to prepare for this fight because of the COVID stuff mm. and lockdowns and, and they postponed the fights. and. And we did one year of training and I had this one goal, I have to be aggressive because we had been doing a lot of sparring rounds back in the day. And, uh, with Wilder? Yeah, with yeah. Wilder, yeah. So, so we, we had a, a game plan set. Of course, in, in some point when the fight was nearing, I was thinking about, but he has been fighting Tyson Fury for almost three years now. He was mm -hmm. training for a big guy like me. Probably he had made some changes because he's lost them fights. <coughs> but I was, we, had, we were so long in in the training uh, camp and and uh, the game plan that I didn't think of it anymore. But except in the fight, one and a half minutes in the fight, I was like, Shit, something's wrong. Uh, he's moving backwards. He, he's even trying to hit me from his back foot. He's never done that before. So I was surprised and uh, probably should have thought it more thoroughly but then when the the 10 second clap 10 second clap came i was like okay 10 seconds left let's do a, a rush pun punching and i was punching him in the in the stomach and coming up in his face but then he just so fast that right yeah, hand was so yeah. fast so it, it was a mistake but it's you know, it's, it's boxing. He was better prepared for, for that. Mm. What I remember mm. in the aftermath of that is that you said, that's it, we're done. Yeah, I'm retiring. because I, we, we, I, we, I, we. I promised myself when I was 18, I think, or something, uh, that when the third knockout loss comes, mm. I probably stop. Mm. So I, I had that in, in my back of the head, like it's probably there. And I know I'm 30, 40 next year, I'm trying to keep myself young by eating a lot of uh, proteins and fats and, and uh, doing heavy liftings and, and uh, keep my nervous balance and everything. So where was I going with that? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, wait a second. No, the, were, but yeah, the, so I was going to say you did retire. You yeah, retired yeah I did. That that. I did because I didn't think about boxing for four months. Mm. Uh, I just did uh, strength training, strength yeah. and conditioning all the time. And, uh, You're in great shape. 
Thank you, thank you. And uh, I think that was a good, uh, good place for me to be a while because I knew how many years it's gonna take to come on this stage again where I'm today. So some things happen for a reason. I think. They certainly do. Yeah. You had your comeback fight, six yeah. rounder. Yeah. It looked like it was in a castle. Yeah, it the was. It was, was it in a castle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the backdrop was very yeah. unique. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was in a castle. And you blast your opponent out in three rounds. Yeah. So it shows that the power was still there, the hunger yeah. still there. Yeah. And then your manager tells you the news. <laughs> yeah. Explain in the to us locker room. Happened. Yeah, I come back in the locker room after the fight. I still have my wraps on, and then the sweat is pouring. Uh, and my manager pulls me to the side and said, "Hey, I need to talk to you in private. Uh, something's come up." And I was like, "What?" Well, I was thinking, well, "What can it be? Like, mm. we just fought. Can't we wait till we get to the <laughs> yeah. hotel?" Or no, he wanted to tell me now. <laughs> so it was very important. So mm. he said, "Like, yeah, do, how, how do you feel about fighting next Saturday?" I was like, uh, "No, I don't feel like fighting next Saturday. What are you talking about? I'm sweaty from the ring, you know." And uh, <clears throat> then he said, yeah, but it's, it's Anton Joshua fight that uh, Dylan White can't fight, that uh, somebody needs to step in. I was like, oh, shit. reality hits me. And, and uh, I was thinking, oh, man, I was not thinking this at all. Mm -hmm. I have to give me five minutes, yeah. I, I think, think about it. Then I came to him and said, like, OK, yes, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Let's make a video. Or he said, like, let's make a video to Eddie Hearn, and and mm. and, and we sent him a video where I, I said, saw the video. Like, yeah, I saw it. L like, I'm ready. Mm. Let's do this. Was there ever a part of you that was like, no, like I want to? The I first reaction, the first, yeah, yeah, least, the first, yeah. the first, because I'm used to that, you know, that you get at least eight weeks training camp before a big fight. Yeah. So, but I have had a, a, a almost a 13, 14 weeks training camp now before the last fight. Of mm -hmm. course, it was for another opponent, but so is Anthony Joshua's mm -hmm. training camp gone. So, uh, we and we had a good training camp, and I feel in shape, so I'm good. You know AJ, right? You guys have been in the same camps before. Yeah, You've sparred before. We've been, yeah. But that's good a long time. Sessions? Yeah, good sparring sessions. Yeah, I, I liked sparring with him. Mm. I think it was 2016, 2017. It's time, yeah, it's a long time. I think he's changed up his style a lot uh, since he lost against Ruiz. He he stepped back a little bit and and uh, started moving. Mm. Not as aggressive he can be, but he hasn't shown the aggressive aggressive uh, boxing that he did back when he was fighting Klitschko and and mm. uh, before that. Do you think he's regressed as a fighter? Do you still mm. think he's one of the top heavyweights in the world? Yeah, of course, he's yeah. one of the top heavyweights. Otherwise, it wouldn't be this big news. As good as he used to be? Mm, I don't know, because the last fight d he did with Jeremy Yeah, uh, Jermaine Franklin. Franklin. Yeah. Mm. It, it was a good fight, uh, but um, he, he looked a little bit, uh, what do you say, like... Gun shy? Gun shy, yeah, I think so. A, a little bit. Or it was his new way of, of boxing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe his trainer is teaching him different stuff and he could develop himself in that fight mm -hmm. more. You were going to retire. This has obviously given you a new lease of life, right? Yeah. Big fight, yes. Uto Arena, yes. sold out. Yeah. This is the ones you've been waiting for yes. again, the big fight. Yes. Does that mean we get to see more of Hellenius <laughs> regardless of the outcome on Saturday? I can't promise anything, but uh, probably. <laughs> I think we will. Yeah. I think we will. Do you think you beat AJ? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I I I don't think I would be here if I don't would yeah. believe that myself that I could beat him. Yeah. I know the odds, odds are against me, but I don't care. We Vikings, we fight. Yeah. Victory or Valhalla. <laughs> Victory or Valhalla. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Robert. On Thank, you Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Top man.